So here with our application, we have a repeating group and we have a functionality to add a new item into the database and the repeating group will show the database. So let's go to add new and we have a customer details entered here. So if we want to add a new customer, uh, let's say our customer is from London and his name is maybe let's say uh, let's say submit so now we have added a customer here I've got a repeating group here in my example application if you don't know how to create a repeating group you can watch my other videos I will leave the link to videos in the description today in this video we will add a functionality for adding new item into our database as we already have a repeating group linked to our database our entry will be displayed on this repeating group here so what we going to do is we will add a button here and we will show a pop-up where um, the pop-up will be asking for the customer information including name company phone number profile picture and database and then we will run a workflow to add uh, those details into database so that we can show new customers here so let's dive into the bubble editor and, and let's add the functionality so as we discussed first we need a button here so i'm quickly going to draw a button here um, which says add new add new and then i'm going to remove the style and i don't think we need padding here because the button is small mm -hmm and let's align it with our repeating group and also let's decrease the front side so that it looks perfect yeah okay so we have a um, add new add new button here so once clicked we want to we want to show a pop-up for that we need to create a pop-up here first so let's go to pop-up and draw a pop-up okay this is the pop-up and in this pop-up we're going to add the fields um, which will ask for the customer details to do that we need first let's give it a title like name or let's say full name full name and let's draw a input field which is type name here to make this video quick i'm going to do the same with all the other fields so here i have created a form asking for the customer information i hope you don't have any problem creating this form and but if you do have please comment down below all i have done is like added a title here and some input fields with their headings and this is a file uploader if you can find the file uploader you can just scroll down and you will see a file uploader here you just draw it over here so we have added a pop-up and let's check out if it works and it shouldn't work because we haven't like um, created any workflow so if we click on add new button it's not anything is not happening so let's quickly go to this button start a workflow and then go to element action and then show and we say we are going to show a pop-up a its name is it, its name was pop-up a so yeah it should now show the pop-up add new it is showing the pop-up pop perfectly but if we add any details like example name sorry example name example company email address example at the rate example dot com sorry for the spellings 07 city london and 
picture we can upload maybe anything like this one open submit so if you if you notice nothing is happening because we haven't still created a workflow to create a new database with this button so let's get back to the bubble editor let's go to design and then let's search for the pop-up that we have just created which name is pop-up a so once this button is clicked we want to run a workflow hmm. workflow to create a new thing so the thing is customers and we need to map each and every field we have created so let's go first let's map address so address should be um, yeah sorry i think i have named it city yeah input type cities value and company input type companies value and then let's add email address email input type emails value and then let's do the same with full name input type full names here and phone number input type phone numbers value and then profile picture its name was file uploader profile picture yeah all right so we have mapped the field here so now once once we click submit button here the new customer will be created on our database so once the database is created what we want to do is hide the pop-up so go to element action hide and pop-up a so we want to hide it once the customer is created <coughs> So everything should now work as perfect. So let's try out this application. Add new full name, example name, and example company. Example at the rate, example.com, phone number 07 something random number city uh, manchester profile picture let's upload this one okay so let's try submitting this customer's details so congratulations so we have just created a customer here with the email and everything that we have just entered so it works perfectly so now uh, a lot of further customization can be done with this application you can have delete button here you can have added button here and you can once the customer is created you can you can mm, show a success message here congratulations new customers is created or a lot of hundreds of many things you can do with this application um yeah i'll be i'll be covering with success matches edit delete and all the functionality within few days so please subscribe to my channel and you will not miss those videos uh, thank you so much for watching this video i hope this video was helpful um so if you do have any questions or any confusion creating these functionalities you can always comment down below thank you so much for watching this video